It's important to learn about J. Robert Oppenheimer, but many of the women who worked on the Manhattan Project are often left out of the story. So let's talk about a few of them. Two women who worked on the Manhattan Project weren't included in the Oppenheimer movie, but their roles were smaller than they were in real life. First was Lily Hornig, who fled Germany in 1933. She was researching plutonium for the Manhattan Project, but leadership fired her because they worried that the dangerous isotope would affect her reproductive health. In Oppenheimer, she briefly speaks out against use of the atomic bomb, which was something she advocated for in real life. The other woman included in the movie was Charlotte Server, depicted only as Oppenheimer's secretary. But her real life role was way more than that. She was a scientific librarian and dealt with top secret documents. Server also participated in counter espionage missions and she was the only female group leader in Los Alamos. Women of color who worked on the Manhattan Project were left out of the movie completely. Boy Agnes Lee or Naranjo Stroud was a member of the Santa Clara Pueblo tribe and worked as a hematologist on the Manhattan Project. She monitored the health of scientists who were working around the dangerous materials required for the atomic bomb. Lee was one of the few indigenous people who were working on the Manhattan Project. She worked to increase indigenous representation in STEM by helping to found the American Indian Science and Engineering Society in the 1970s. These are just three of the many women who made valuable contributions to the Manhattan Project. Their stories matter too, so if you want a part two, let us know in the comments. And that's history made by us.